right guys here we are we're out under the stars again we've got ourselves a clear night uh, it's been the first clear night now for a while I uh, I think the last time I vlogged uh, was a few weeks ago now which I as I even say this I haven't even edited that vlog yet so uh, just haven't had time to get to it so it'd be funny if uh, if you're watching this vlog uh, either the, uh, the and you haven't seen uh, my other vlog which includes the Panasonic S1 then I don't know what's happened with that vlog but uh... <sighs> okay guys I have to stop the edit there uh, reason I haven't edited that other vlog yet is that there's uh, a lot of parts to it and I haven't had a chance to do it uh, I've uh, decided to edit this vlog that you're watching now first um, and I will get to the other one uh, soon but yeah as I've mentioned it's about the uh, Panasonic S1 and, uh, and also getting some nice clear skies early in the season so that was, that was nice but um, yeah I will get it done but uh, I've got plenty of time so uh, I'm on holidays at the moment but uh, yeah let's just get back into this one and uh, we'll, uh, we'll release that other one another time. I have to try and get onto it and uh, get it edited. Hopefully, you do see it before you see this one. But um, yeah, we're under the stars again. We've got Orion just over here, uh, just setting over in the west. And I'm just taking, I've been taking a few shots of that uh, while I can. Um, I've come back out to Lake Mugra. Uh, this is essentially like one of the easiest places to sort of drive and park up and take shots in a pretty dark area um, but it's also uh, a Friday night going to look into a weekend and uh, we are now deep in uh, COVID-19 crisis so we'll uh, we'll see how we go for tonight it might get busy because people are sort of you know self-isolating but uh, yeah, they're self-isolating by getting away from the cities and coming out camping and staying away from all the uh, all the issues. But uh, tonight, uh, I've got a couple of. Well, I've got definitely one shot on, on in mind that I want to get. I want to I want to try and nail a, a panorama shot. I uh, I've done some panoramas, but I really want to do a like a big sort of 180 sort of uh, panorama, and um, I want to do it down at the uh, Mugra Dam. I want to get the damn wall in the shot, but I want to get a, uh, an arching Milky Way uh, rising from in the east and arching right over the south, over into the west, and uh, include the Mulgara Dam in the shot. So that's my goal for tonight. Uh, as I said, I just finished taking some shots of Orion behind me, and um, yeah, pretty stoked to be able to come away with a, a shot just quickly. I sort of pulled up and uh, thought I'd have a look to see if there was a composition. Uh, at this uh, place that I'm at now and um, yeah it worked out so I'm pretty happy so um, look I'm gonna hang around I've got a long night it's gonna be clear all night so it's, it's gonna be a bit of a struggle tomorrow but uh, yeah it's gonna be a good night and uh, I might pack up and get ready to head over to the wall because uh, I've still got about a couple of hours or so until the Milky Way rises in the east um, I think uh, we've got the Scorpius tail just sort of pop up above the the mountain ridge over there so yeah long night let's uh let's get organized and we'll get straight into it Hope you can hear me. I'm out on the uh, Mugara Dam wall and uh, forgot about the uh, water that's coming out that's uh, slowly getting uh, released from the dam itself. Uh, so hopefully you can hear me. Uh, but I've been spending now, I've been here for a little while. 
Uh, I've been spending some time to taking some frames to get my shot. Like as I mentioned, I've been wanting to get a panorama from, uh, uh, I guess it's the western side or the northwestern side of the dam, on the far side. And I've been wanting to be able to get the Milky Way rising in the east and then get the arch all the way over to the uh, western side uh, with having the dam in the foreground. Um, I've ended up doing a bit more than I thought I was going to and I've ended up doing three rows uh, with oh, anywhere from I'd say at least 10 photos per row so I've probably taken at least 30. Um, I'd have to double check when I get home and get the photos on the computer but um, I'm hoping that uh, I only, only overlap uh, fractionally. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll overlap at least 50% uh, but I really turned the camera only slightly every shot just to make sure I was overlapping with a, a lot just to make sure it does that when I do stitch it together uh, on the computer that it, the, uh, the, the, when I stitch the panorama together it does actually fit together nicely and hopefully all the shots just work out perfectly because I don't really want to you know, spend the time coming out here and then spending the time taking all the photos then just to get home and then it just doesn't work so um, I took, a bit, took a, uh, a bit longer doing the shots, made sure of it, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed that it all comes together. But um, yeah, I had to wait a couple of times. We got, as I said, it's so busy here at uh, Mugara. Um, I think what it is is people actually congregate here to catch uh, Pokemon with that Pokemon Go app that was like a craze, like, oh, how many years ago? Was that four years ago? And they're still going at it. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I got the shot now. Um, I'm, to be honest, I uh, better get myself some sleep. I've got a uh, another photo I want to get. Uh, I've got a bonus one earlier, uh, as you as you would have seen already, uh, of the tree and uh, with uh, Orion and the Mangelli cloud setting. Uh, but now I've got my panorama in the uh, in the bag, uh, so I just want to go back to my car now. Um, I need to go and drive home actually, and then get some rest because. Uh, uh, in the morning, I've got myself uh, a chance to get another International Space Station transit, uh, lunar transit. So, but this time it's going to be of a really thin crescent moon, and um, I'm wanting to hopefully capture uh, some moonshine off the moon and have the space station go past through it. So, um, there's another transit to add to my collection. Uh, I've got the full moon, I've got a half moon. So now I want to see if I can get a bit of a crescent moon with some moonshine and add that to the collection. So fingers crossed that all comes together. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave it nice and short. Don't want to drag on too long. I've probably spoken too much already. But um, look, if you like this sort of content, me taking you out under the stars, getting some photos, make sure you hit subscribe. And uh, if you've got any questions about any of the shots uh, from that you saw on this video, uh, just leave a question down below in the comments and um, I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But uh, yeah, tune in. I've got a few more tutorial videos coming up uh, of, uh, where I'm gonna be uh, taking you through either focusing, how to get the uh, a sh one shot uh, image of a Milky Way and stack shots and all bits and bobs on how to take photos. So I'm trying to slowly uh, produce those uh, videos. So hopefully I can get all those done for you. You uh, know, soon throughout the winter break, but it's starting to cool down now, so yeah, pretty stoked. But yep, yeah, enough rambling. I'm out of here. Gotta get some sleep. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.